Imagine you see a double-headed snake in your backyard. You then call a snake rescuer to take care of the danger, and then he becomes internet famous for saving this rare snake. This is the story of the two-headed brown egg-eater snake from South Africa. The snake might look imposing and scary in the photos, but this is nothing to be afraid of. It's a brown egg-eater snake which is generally harmless to humans. The snake rescuer tasked with getting rid of the snake was called Nick Evans. As soon as he saw the snake in a small town north of Durban, South Africa, he knew it wasn't dangerous, so he took several photos of it and uploaded them on social media. The house owner in whose backyard they found the snake didn't want anyone to harm the poor creature, so he called a specialist to put it in a bottle and take it somewhere safe. Polycephaly is a condition in which an animal is born with two or more heads. When the mother is carrying twins, the embryo splits into two parts, forming two distinct individuals. However, in the case of bicephaly, the embryonic split is only partial, separating the head and keeping the rest of the body intact. The snake followed the same fate. However, it's rare to see one in the wild as they have a very low chance of survival because they move slowly. Even though most of the animals born with bicephaly are snakes and turtles, it's rare to see a double-headed snake pass maturity. They'll either be picked off by predators or die from complications. In the case of the brown egg-eater snake, it was neither. They found the snake while it was still young, approximately a foot in length, and is now being taken care of by professionals taking care of it now. Next up, we have a two-headed bird. This is Bill Gill, a man from the eastern part of Cape Breton, Canada, near the Sydney River. He and his wife, Erlene, were startled by what they initially thought were two birds on their front lawn, but something seemed strange about this bird. Bill went outside to see what was so peculiar about these birds, and after watching them for a while, he realized that there were not two birds. This was a single bird with wings, a tail, two heads, and two beaks. They took a photo of the bird since they'd never seen anything like it. This strange bird had been visiting them twice a month and had been rummaging through the grass on their front lawn. The two bird heads eat independently, and one of them is a little smaller than the other. However, when Bill tried to approach it, it flew into a nearby apple tree. Immediately after, Bill's wife, Erlene, went on the internet to see just how rare this little guy was and discovered that this is probably one of the rarest bird mutations ever recorded. Followed by the two-headed lamb. In the fall of 2014, a farmer from China smashed that like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, the farmer was astonished to see what his sheep gave birth to. Despite its strange look, the little lamb with two heads conjoined by the ear was like any other. It was healthy and its mother took good care of it. This little guy was only a few days old when they took the photos. As you can clearly see, the baby sheep has four eyes, two mouths, and two ears. It can suckle from its mother using both of its mouths, and it can walk around the farm along with all the other lambs. And now comes the two-headed turtle. The Barnstable Department of Natural Resources in Massachusetts discovered a small hatchling diamond terrapin turtle. So everyone, meet Mary Jane and Ashley. The little turtle hatched back in the fall of 2021 during a Head Start program that aims to protect the terrapin turtle. This is the only turtle species which lives in brackish water in North America. Not only is this species on the verge of extinction because of hunting and consumption – people used to make soup from these turtles in the previous century – but it's also highly vulnerable to predators. The program that hatched Mary Jane and Ashley finds these vulnerable nests and nurtures them until maturity. Now, as we all know, bicephaly happens when the embryo splits only partially. However, in the case of this little guy, the split was much more pronounced. Not only did the little turtle have two heads, but it was also born with six legs instead of four. And as luck would have it, the turtle has retained full motor function over their six legs, but the scientists don't know two things. The first is who controls which leg since they're constantly moving in synchrony, and the second thing they don't know is the sex, since diamondback terrapin turtles reach sexual maturity at the age of 10. Don't forget about two-headed sharks. As if one-headed sharks weren't scary enough, and no, the movie's not fiction, it's based on a true story, although we still have to hear of the two-headed shark that lived to adulthood. But it all started in 2008. That's when Australian fisherman Christopher Johnston managed to catch a pregnant blue shark. Inside the shark's body, he found a two-headed embryo, the first specimen the world had ever seen. After that, several other sharks with two heads were caught off the coast of Baja, California. 
After doing multiple studies on these sharks, scientists found that blue sharks are especially prone to polycephaly. This is mainly because the blue shark has a high embryonic count. But that doesn't explain the two-headed bull shark. That's right, there was a two-headed bull shark found off the coast of Florida in 2013. So now people are worried that two-headed sharks are becoming more common. However, scientists claim there's nothing to worry about since the evidence is too sparse to determine a developing trend. In other words, you won't be swallowed by a two-headed shark when you go swimming anytime soon. And then we have the two-headed goat. Everyone, meet Janus. He's a two-headed goat born in April 2020. In the madness that was 2020, the Nuske farm from Wittenberg, Wisconsin got a pleasant surprise. The owners of the farm were delighted to see that one of their goats gave birth to a two-headed miracle. They named him Janus after the two-headed Greek god who was the symbol of duality. In 2020, this family farm produced a thousand goats, and only one of them was born with two heads. The family says that they're aware these animals don't live as long as other ones, but they would do everything in their power to ensure this little goat has a happy life. Unlike the other goats, they're keeping this one as a pet. They've been posting cute pictures and videos of their two-headed family member on their social media page, and people send their love from all over the world. Even major magazines have written articles about Janus. What about the two-headed bearded dragon? Originating in Australia, these little desert lizards are everywhere. People keep them as household pets, and they've even found their way into American homes, but Ripley's Believe It or Not has added a new dragon to their freak show. Alongside the two-nosed dog, they've placed this two-headed bearded dragon on display. Not only is this two-headed dragon rare because it has two bodies, but it's also special because red and orange are prized colors for domestic bearded dragons. Observing this guy up close, you can see that he not only has two heads, but he also seems to have two separate upper bodies which are conjoined at the tail. The owner said that the right side is the dominant one. However, that's only because the guy on the left only has the front limbs and a head. However, he's no pushover. He'll fight for food almost as violently as any other lizard. Apparently, it's not all about physical toughness. Some of it's mental as well. Of course, there's the two-headed calf. A farmer from a small village in North Macedonia was woken up by the sound of his cow giving birth. They rushed out to help the animal, and as soon as she delivered the young calf, the family stood in shock. They immediately called the vet, and he said something that they couldn't believe. In a calm and collected manner, he informed the family that this was a normal phenomenon that happened regularly, even though it was the first such case in this small Balkan county. The farmer has said that the little calf has two heads conjoined together, two pairs of eyes, and one pair of ears. After a while, they even witnessed the calf suckling milk with both of its mouths. During an interview, the farmer clearly stated that he'll do anything in his power to keep the little calf alive for as long as possible. He knows that such animals don't live long, but he said that they'll do everything they can to help this lucky calf. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next.